second drug in, uh, in the protein synthesis inhibitor family would be macrolides. They are made up of 40 member um, compound. Yeah, this is actually a huge um, lactum rectum ring, the lactona D here. Yeah, lactone are actually ester, a cyclic ester. All right, um, and there's three OH group here on a ring, and one ketone. Yeah, we shall come back to this. This two OH group are very important in its the chemistry of this microlite. Yeah. Also, uh, uh, you know, uh, binding to the microlites would be uh, these two sugar uh, groups as well. Yeah. So we come to that. So um, one prime example of microlites is uh, erythromycin, and uh, these are the binding sites. Yeah, of erythromycin. All right. So here you can see that, that again the three OH, the three diols are important. The methyl is important. The OH group and also the um, methyl minor group here is very important. Yeah, and erythromycin binds to the 50S ribosome. So where does it actually work in the protein synthesis uh, process? Yeah, uh, so macrolide blocks in the last, the latest stage of the protein synthesis. So this is uh, and is it actually a bacteriostatic agent? Okay, so erythromycin comes in as as is, as in uh, erythromycin A, erythromycin B, and C. Yeah, so usually they are they are a blend of erythromycins. All right, but the majority the, the major component is usually erythromycin A. Yeah, and it is derived from uh, strains of Streptomyces erythraeus. Yeah. It's active against some gram positive, but no, not really enterobacteria here. Okay, which is usually the more resistant uh, bacteria, and these are the second uh, most popular uh, antibiotic after penicillin. All right, so um, the two sugars that bind to the um, lactone uh, ring is clandinose and lysosamine. Yeah, uh, so in this case. If you see um, about erythromycin, yeah, because of the lactone ring, have, this is very important, yeah, lactone ring plus also having this ketone. Again, remember, remember about penicillin, yeah, having a ketone next to the OH group, all right. So this, the chemistry of erythromycin actually are very pH dependent, all right. Um, if the optimum pH is about uh, pH 8.5, yeah. If you reduce it to pH 7, which is neutral, it will actually lose about 14% of its activity after 14, uh, 24 hours, all right? Um, in, in weak acid, so if you go lower, okay, in weak acid, so also from P, the optimum pH of pH 8.5, you go down to pH 7, activity reduces by 14%. And then in weak acid, yeah, three, uh, pH 3 to 4, um, its activity decreases further after a few hours. So what's the reason? The reason again lies in the chemistry. Uh, let's have a look again. Remember in my class, I, we talked about um, nucleophile, which are the nucleophile, which are the electrophiles. So the, the vulnerable parts in this, um, in this uh, structure, this macron-like structure, would be the lactam ring, ketone, all right, and then this glycosidic uh, chain, yeah, or um, these two link, but glycosidic link are very, very uh, unstable, especially in, in strong acid. Um, when you have the vulnerable, the vulnerable or the uh, electrophilic uh, sites, you also have um, nucleophiles, yeah. So the nucleophiles are usually the the the, the diols or alcohols, all right, and the amines here, all right, or alcohols here. Now, we talk about that the optimum pH just now is about eight point five, which is you know uh, slightly alkaline, but as 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 the uh, you know as you in increase the acidity, as it gets uh, more acidic, yeah, the um, astromycins we actually experience. Um, an intra 
molecular attack yeah by these two diols yeah these two diols it can actually attack you will actually attack intramolecularly into with, with itself really yeah to the ketone remember ketone will pick up the hydrogen here in acidic environment that it can actually then go two ways the first way is in a weak acid it can actually go it actually form uh, areth, uh, areth well it's a bit hard to actually pronounce this name yeah erythalosamine yeah which is actually is this you have uh, is minus the sugar and two water molecule but at a, at a lower at a lower um, pH uh, pH 2.4 2.5 to 4 is about our the pH of a, a, a stomach our stomach yeah um, these two um, OH group will attack uh, again the same chemistry but the root it will take it will actually form it will still attack intramolecularly uh, at the ketone all right it will actually form a ketal all right so these ketal forms of erythromycin is the one that causes stomach cramping yeah in some patients so if you have patients when you work as a pharmacist we have patients coming to you and complain that they have you know stomach discomfort or cramping they feel really painful after taking erythromycin what can you do to to, re, to reduce the stomach, the stomach cramping in patients so um, because this stomach cramping is caused by ketal formation yeah so one of the ways is to actually transform or modify one of the OH group to an O methyl therefore effectively what you do you actually block or mask the OH group yeah so therefore the O methyl group like this it has lower nucleophilicity therefore uh, the intramolecular attack to form ketal cannot happen yeah as much as if you have two diols attacking uh, the ketone so now only there's only one possible uh, formation uh, so there's changing firstly changing one of the diols especially on the this particular side yeah uh, to an o, o methyl uh, will cause less ketal formation therefore less um, stomach cramping and also at the same time you increase the lipophilicity of the of this the whole compound to so it's easier easily uh, absorbed compared to uh, the parent erythromycin the second part is to actually increase the ring size so the problem in these two why they have an intramolecular attack is that uh, these two diols are close by is close enough to attack the ketone so what you can do is actually you can actually increase this ring size so ring size stays about 14 uh, you know um, atom yeah so increase it to 15 to 16 uh, so an example is uh, azithromycin so as the ring size big uh, getting bigger yeah the OH group are no longer able to uh, go close to attack to go close and attack the ketone so it is further away therefore it's actually um, this ketone formation is, is less getting less and less compared to if it is in the original the parent compound yeah? the third way is to keep it as erythromycin yeah um, but you change the formulation so there is uh, this entry coated formulation i think you have learned it earlier yeah that you actually can coat it therefore is stable to the acid media in the stomach so it will then go through the it just go through the the, the whole thing is a, a patient takes in it goes through the stomach and it will the because of the coating at the acid coating of the uh of the tablet that tablet wouldn't get dissolved in the stomach it will just bypass through and it will only get dissolve in the alkaline condition of the smaller intestines so and then re and once it is uh, the coating was um, degraded and dissolved only then this erythromycin uh, can be released from the tablet and and um, you know and then get absorbed through 
So um, this is this is these are the three ways that um, yeah, one uh, as a pharmacist you can actually help in terms of the um, uh, improve the stability of uh, erythromycin, and also uh, helps um, circumvent the uh, chemistry um, of of erythromycin. Yeah. So the first two. Uh, talking about the chemistry, the third one is actually formulation.